Hello, my dear students of class 5, welcome back to English Literature class. Today, we will be doing Chapter 9, The Secret Garden. This story is taken from Francis Hudson Barnett's novel, The Secret Garden. Frances Hudson Barnett was an English-American playwright and author. She is best known for her stories for children. From a very early age, Frances began to write and publish stories to help the family earn money. When she was about 43, she came to live in a large house with many gardens surrounded by high walls. It was here that Frances got the idea for her book, The Secret Garden, which was published in 1911. Mary Lennox was born in India. Sadly, her parents died and her uncle brought her to Yorkshire, England. Living in her uncle's large house, she hears stories of a secret garden surrounded by walls locked for the last 10 years, which nobody can enter. Mary becomes interested in finding the secret garden herself. One of Mary's friends is a pet robin belonging to the gardener. One day, as Mary explores the garden, the robin draws her attention to an area of disturbed soil. Mary looked at it and saw something buried in the soil. She put out her hand and picked the ring up. It was an old key which looked as if it had been buried a long time. She looked at the key quite a long time. She thought that if it was the key to the closed garden and she could find out where the door was, she could open it and see what was inside the walls. She put the key in her pocket and went back home. The next day, Mary took her skipping rope and skipped round all the garden and round the orchard. She stopped to rest a while and there was the robin again who had followed her. Mary said, you showed me where the key was yesterday, show me the door today. Then the robin flew onto the top of the wall and sang a song with high-pitched vibrating notes. A little gust of wind rushed down the path and it was stronger than usual. Suddenly, the gust of wind swung aside some loose ivy and Mary saw something under it, a round knob which had been covered by the leaves hanging over it. It was a knob of a door. She put her hand under the leaves and began to pull and push them aside. What was this under her hand which was square and made of iron? It was the lock of the door which had been closed for ten years. She put her hand in her pocket, drew out the key and found that it fitted the keyhole. She put the key in and turned it. She took a long deep breath and looked behind her up the long walk to see if anyone was coming and then she took another long breath and held back the swinging curtain of ivy and pushed back the door which opened slowly, then slipped through it and shut it behind. Now, she was standing inside the secret garden. It was the sweetest and most mysterious looking place anyone could imagine. The high walls which shut it in were covered with the stems of climbing roses which were stuck close and thickly together. Mary knew that they were roses because she had seen a great many roses in India. Rose bushes covered the entire garden. She moved away from the door, stepping softly as if she were afraid of waking someone up. The robin flew down from the treetop and flew after her from one bush to another. He chirped a good deal and had a very busy air, as if showing her things. Mary finds the garden mysterious looking and very still. She was very happy to be in the garden because she feels as if she had found a world all her own. Despite the garden's quietness and the feeling she is hundreds of miles away from anyone, Mary does not feel lonely. That's the end of the story. Student, I hope you have understood the story. 
Learn the word meaning given in the book. That is page 84, bear flower bat. Page 85, ivy and trill. Page 86, matted together and stillness. Until then, take care.